earthlings how are you guys we are back with a brand new spanking brand new, brand new video okay um yeah did you like the little espanola video. video that was it it's, it's Spanish. like rodeo but video is spanish for video telemundo culo papi chulo in the drulo yeah, okay. You could be a real rapper. Bars, that's what I'm saying. I can make a real living out of this. And everybody else doing it, talking about licorice and fried chickens and Gucci and uh, gang, gang, gangs. Right. <laughs> I can, we could be rappers too. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that you guys have missed us. We have missed you. We have been busy, busy yeah. traveling, mm -hmm. going places. So that's why last week... Our video um, a was a mini sewed. Yeah, it was an oldie but a goodie. One of our favorites. One of like our first ones that we recorded when we were kind of just feeling around. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know. And now look at us. us. Yeah. <laughs> like a like a blue, like blooming. Blue. Blue. Ooh. <laughs> um, so I went to Houston last weekend and you went. Was it last weekend? No, you went the weekend before mm -hmm. to Chicago. Chicago. How was that? It was great. Was it fun? It was Did y'all have like um, hot dogs and stuff? Like Chicago? Had a hot dog, didn't it like was, it. It wasn't that great? Is it like just hype? I don't know because I only had a hot dog from one place, so I can't speak for the whole state of Chicago. But Chicago you know that's what they're. State. I mean, I mean, city. I'm sorry. <laughs> I yeah, swear so, I passed geography. Um, um, so, I mean, the one that I had wasn't that great, but we yeah. didn't really have any food that was just, like, mind-blowing, which our Uber driver on the way back to the airport was like, text me when y'all come back because I'm going to tell y'all where to go. We did have good brunch. I'll take that back. We did have oh, that's good. good brunch at this place called Canela. Um, but she was like, when you come back, and the tickets were only $100, the plane tickets, so we will go back. Oh, we, oh um, I'm going to and Chicago. And so she was like, make sure you text me, and I'm going to tell you all the places to go. But Well, see, that's it, because you have to go to all the hole-in-the-wall yeah. places. You got to go to the places where the yeah, But we went to Harold's Chicken, and I didn't. No. And they, they y'all hype yeah. Harold's up, people that's out in the Chicago area. It just wasn't seasoned to me. And I was like, well, maybe we just over season stuff because I was like, this ain't. Maybe. This ain't, you know. But it was, it was More okay. It us. was a good trip. Um, it was good. It was good real relaxing. Getaway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, me and Pena had fun. That's good. So it was good. How was Houston? Houston was, was Houston. The traffic sucked. I need to check for all the gas I wasted by just sitting in traffic. Like, the traffic. <laughs> that's that's all I have to say. Um, everything else was good. We did have some trash food. Like, mm -hmm. we went to this one seafood place, um, and the shrimp wasn't all that. But the fried chicken, though. <laughs> Whew, just reminiscing and touched my spirit. The fried chicken was on point. Like, we went back. Again and again for the fried chicken because it was, you know, black people love fried chicken. So when you find a yeah. good fried chicken spot and it was like seasoned with a little lemon pepper, little limon, limon, that's Spanish for lemon or probably lime, one of those citrus <laughs> uh, fruits. Um, and so that was fun. But then we went to this one like burger joint that had really good reviews. And I don't know the people who's doing these reviews. What's the burger not fire? It was Ash. Not fire, ash, just mm. after the fire. Um, you couldn't even <laughs> find nothing hot in the ash. It was just, uh, it was trash. Um, and I want, I just wanted a simple lettuce burger. Bacon, cheese, burger on lettuce burger. is the bun, the burger. And they gave me a lettuce burger and it had egg and avocado. And you, that sounds good. And you know how I feel about avocado. That sounds like you, a good burger. No, it sounds trash and it was trash. Don't ever try it. It's gross. Um, and so we ordered a burger from room service and I smashed so hard on that burger. That was probably the best thing um, about the whole trip was the room service burger. And then we went to Crawfish Boil. And that was, you know, that was, it's Crawfish Boil. Like you can't even complain at a Crawfish Boil. Right. Um, and that's about it. So now we're here. Now we here. We have um, a few like trips coming up. So we're going to be like recording on the go. Yeah, we on the go today. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're on the go today. Today for us is Thursday. So this will be up edited and uploading and stuff tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> but um, are you doing it? Yeah. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah. 
Um, I'm training at work oh, of course. and homework tonight, so. God, of course you do. <laughs> how, how, how wonderful these inconveniences have come up for you at this time. Um, so that's why we're kind of doing it today. And so yeah. it's kind of throwing us off of our schedule, but we're trying the best that we can. We got off of work, came here to record at Red's house. <laughs> and give me a key to your place because we pulling up and you ain't got to be there. And so that's, that's our lives right now. So, but today we have a really fun topic. We do. Today we are talking about relationships. Relationships and dating as a 20 something. In because. Oh, it made me want to go get my pink glasses over there because this is a diva moment, but I'm not even going to do that. You ain't even dating. But I'm not dating, but I've dated. Oh, I have dated I'm not, people I'm not taking before. That, yeah. You've dated? Yeah. Who the wean man? Who be sending them text messages? So people, it be me. I'm so not a I dated through you via text. Yeah, so. I, you know when you just hand your phone over to your best friend? And I like texting, hey. you know. Uh, yeah. I don't. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about dating and <laughs> how shitty it is for <laughs> For 20-somethings, how I know, we know yeah. that it's changed from those past generations. Okay, this ain't the 50s, the 40s, and the 60s. What is, what is this? <laughs> the teen, the 20s? Is it the 21st century? 21st century? I think that's what it is. I'm bad at counting centuries. I don't really know decades. It's about <laughs> as high as I can count. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, just and what relationships look like. What we are talking about do's and don'ts. And let me yeah. tell you something, we got more don'ts than do's. We I think we got one do. do. Yeah. No, we talked about a couple do's this morning. But now you like wrap it all points? in one. Yeah, we did. Oh, I got four four don'ts. Well let's let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> See okay. Yeah. See <laughs> I no swear way. we had we had a couple do's. Did you swear we did? Yeah. No, what they say, them is all don'ts. But like dudes too. No, because when we get there, I'll interject. Um, interject then. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, our first tip skip <laughs> coin in the bucket. Coin in the bucket. Is, is don't settle. Don't repeat it again. Don't settle. Uh, there is so much pressure. Like so it gets, it goes pressure. from a point, especially for women. We can, you know, come from a girl's perspective, but right. it's like it goes to a point. It's like you can't have no boyfriend. You can't have no boyfriend. Right. Well, you get a boyfriend, and it's all like, of a sudden, <laughs> what? Like yeah. when the boyfriend gonna get me? Should be the question. It should be <laughs> the question. <laughs> when? When am I gonna get got? Right. Where is him reeling the wheel and? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pull it along. It's always asked to you, like, wh where your boyfriend at, where right. you go, where your man at. And let's just tell you, let's just put a disclaimer out there. If you don't want to date, you don't have to date. You don't have to. Point blank. Whatever age you are, mm -hmm. 20s, 30s, 50s, 100s, whatever, if that's not something that you want to do and that's not something you're trying to invest yourself in, then don't. Don't yeah. waste your time. Don't waste other people's time. Yes. Be, you know, be true to yourself and what you want and don't feel that those pressures um, have to apply to you. So that, that, yeah, don't settle. Um, that was just my little rant. Before yeah. We and just, I mean, not only outside pressures, but internal pressures. So if you feel like, yes. man, I've made it to this certain age or this mm -hmm. certain milestone and I don't have a person, that's the only thing I'm missing. Somebody else can't make you happy. Somebody right. else can't make you complete. And so, and it takes two people to make a relationship work. So if you trying to drag somebody by their collar to be with you, <laughs> uh, Sorry, I just thought that was perfect. Uh, you know, it's not going to be a healthy relationship. It's no. not going to work. It takes two willing people to make a relationship yes. work. So if you settle settling for somebody who is not on your level or somebody who's not really trying to be with you, you in a relationship by yourself, you might as well just be by yourself. Be by yourself. So don't settle for anything less than you willing to take. And what you accept, what is it? What you allow is like what, what you, you get. Yeah. So... Know what standards are really, really close to you. And know that if other people don't have those standards that you come in contact with. You don't have to date. You don't have to date. You don't. Like, you don't have to date. You ain't got to be with them. You ain't got to go on no date with them. Right. Which I would because the food is not always free. Oh, in hey, the way they do it in 2018, they want girls to pay. But then it's like, I don't want you to pay. I just want to see if you will. But then it's I'm like, gonna really pay. What is with these games? And it's like, but I'm not gonna pay. You're gonna be seeing nothing. <laughs> like I don't. 
What do you want? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So don't settle. When it comes to internal pressures, you know, ex external, external pressures, don't feel any pressure to be in any spot than where you're at. Enjoy the moment where you're at. If there's a person who's compatible with you, who's willing to be in a relationship with you and work on it, then do that. If Great. you want to be alone and be at your house, because trust me, I have been that person. I'm still kind of that person. <laughs> just want to be at my house by myself. By yourself, um, yes. You know, that's okay too. So don't right. let anybody... Or don't, in, you know, inside yourself. I'm an overthinker, so I know what that's like when you get inside your head and two yes. sides of yourself are, you know, going back and forth. But, you know, just live in the moment and experience mm -hmm. it. Don't think that happiness comes on the other side of being with just a person. Right. Because it doesn't. Or when you see your other friends are in relationships, relationships and you feel that you should be there too. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because mm -hmm. then you rush into situationships. Yeah. Sex. Ships, <laughs> lust elations, lust elations, Uh Then you rush and you be in in those kind of circumstances that you just you don't have to be in. Like go at your own pace. Know that what's meant for you is gonna be meant for you, and and keep it pushing. Like be a boss. Like don't settle for anything that is not bringing you what's it? growth with an F. With an F. And I kind of spit a little bit too. I saw it just hit out. Um, so tip number two, two, don't do it for the looks. I know you have, I know you have some words for this, for this tip. Do I? Do well, you yes. did when we talked about it. Um, yeah. So, you know, we live in a world where everything is just visualized. Um, yes. Nothing is really left to the imagination, which is great. Love your body. Be naked if you want to be naked, whatever. But, you know, relax, it, relate, relate. <laughs> When it comes to what it looks like, it's like, oh, y'all look really cute together, but if he or she doesn't treat you the way that you're supposed to be it's treated, trash, the look is trash. And, you know, relationship goals is such a big thing. But it relationship is. goals is, can you bring me some toilet paper? I know it stinks in here, but can you please just come talk to me? Because I pooped. Can you <laughs> put some alcohol on this cut on the bottom of my foot, even though my feet crusty? That's the oh. type of stuff that people don't, people don't put that for relationship goals. No. They put pictures in front of, of houses. Them. Yeah, you know, and in front takes, of planes that ain't theirs. The only, it, well, only Bow Wow did. He wanted a relationship. Bow Wow did that. He did. Well, <laughs> same thing. But nobody puts relationship goals about the real things that relationships yes. are about. Um, I asked... Never mind. <laughs> because I asked, him, I asked him today, I was like, would you still be with me if I had one eye? And he sent an emoji and I was like, so I like you more than you like me because I would still be with you. <laughs> and he was like, I would be with you, but where did that come from? I was like, my mind, I just want to know you're trying to be with a bitch. Right. Just trying I'm to, just trying to make sure it. We if I had one. <laughs> and if you only put on one eyelash. Right. Because you only got one And wore an eye patch. <laughs> um, so it doesn't have to be what it looks like. It doesn't have to be your ideal person, which you feel like your ideal man should look like because or right. woman should look like. Because you can pass up on a really great person yes. because they don't look like what you expect. Or, or they won't know, fit into this mold, Instagram yeah. box. People or are they fat don't have and people have roles. <laughs> Get you a nigga or a girl with some roles and be happy. Get you a girl trying to cook. People for do you. have fat roles, yes. Instagram people don't have I don't, the, the Instagram, Instagram people, people don't do have not roles. have the roles. Us and people, we're looking for non Instagramic people. Real life folks. With roles, roles. That eat roles. And roll in the deep. In the deep. When that sweat get up under that little in the little crevice. You just gotta, yeah, and they still hug you and put their hand yeah. right up in the crevice. Yeah. That's the relationship goals. Relationship. And you don't wash your hands right after. Let me know that this crevice <laughs> sweat is okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, don't do it for the looks. Yeah, it's not all about like what you look like on social media or trying to have this picture perfect relationship on social media. And for us as the twenty somethings, mm. social media is lit. It's everything. It's Let life. me tell you, like we social media lies. Everything. Everything to the point that it kind of gets annoying that you don't even want to put your relationship online because other people like criticize and, and kind of it just doesn't fit into what I think our minds have developed what relationships look like. We, we all say we want relationships that like our parents had and full of love and respect and stuff, but... Do we? Like, do we? Like, do we mm -hmm. get what we're putting out that we want? Not really. Like, we've right. become the generation where it's like, you know, you're trying to fuck 
And that's about it. And that's about it. I mean, I text you every media. now and then. You know, we'll get hanging out every now and then. What is that? Yeah. So you know, we. Just, I, I don't know the way relationships work now. I don't know. <laughs> and the way the you know the men are made don't take on projects. Tip number. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Three. Moving right along. Right along. Yeah. Hey, we back in the group. Get in the back in the groove of things. Get um, yeah. Don't take on projects. Don't take on projects that you're really not willing to work on. Maybe we should mm -hmm. put that specific because women get into things men and put and men and make it seem like they didn't notice what it was gonna be like before they got into it, even though the signs were there. Mm -hmm. So just don't worry. Don't get a project. Don't get a person that you feel you have to bump up to catch up to you. Um, in a sense. I think that is okay, but don't get a person who has shown you who they are and you think that you are going to be the person to change them because that right, is Right, right. Now, you can get with a person and who you are in their life and what role you have makes them want to elevate Right, it influences are. them. That's different. But mm -hmm. when you get with a person and it's like, oh, I can change him or her or, you know, because I do this, that's going to make them want to do this. You can't make right. anybody want to do anything. If right. you get with a person, they tell you from jump I don't want to get married, but you know that you want to be married in the next couple of years. Y'all don't need to even entertain right. anything outside of a friendship, and even that mm -hmm. because friendships turn the situation real situation fast. Situation and sex um, ships. And sex ships. Um, but then you know that is your that's your out. That's your time right. to leave right. because then you stuck with a person. Now you're in love with a person, and you're trying to convince them to marry to marry you. you. When in the beginning that was they already stated, so over time you get pissed. Because they don't want to marry you. But you knew that. Right. So stop getting into these or don't get into these situations where you feel you can be the change for that person. You can be an influencer. Right. Um, you can influence them to kind of change their behavior, change their thought. But change starts from within. Right. And so you can't you can't make anybody want to be somebody other than who they are. And people show you who who they are. They show you the annoying things about themselves. They right. show you the ugly parts of themselves. You have to give it time. And that's part of not... Brushing, I don't know if we're Not settling. About. Not settling. You know, see a person for who they are and right. really determine, like, is this somebody that I could really be, you know, compatible, be compatible with compatible in my with, life? Even with all the annoying things that they do, because I know I'm annoying. Um, <laughs> as long as you know, God bless you. I, know, I mean, because so, I know that I'm, I'm an annoying overthinker. Too. And I choose so to be annoying sometimes. My mind is, is always, always on the next thing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I have to buffer from you to not buffer. drive other people crazy. Yeah. Um, I like that. That was a good. That was a good was example. That, that was good. <gasps> Buffer. <laughs> um. Yeah. And use your friends if you. I mean, if you know that you you need help. Your Let Don't your, drive your partner crazy. Your real friends, though, not the oh, friends that like God. tell you shitty advice and they pretend that it's genuine. Um. But the friends that love you and they give you advice for you because they love you. Those are the friends because they're gonna let you know from jump. Like, uh. Sis, is that, that something that you really want to do? Is that something we really about to get into? Or when you tell the characteristics of this person and it's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, red flag. Yeah. Uh, oh, another red flag. Oh, there's three red flags. It's And it's like, you don't like that. No. Right. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, did you say you never wanted to be with a guy that blah, blah, blah? And it's like, I know, but no, cut all that. You don't know nothing, obviously. Um, yeah, so don't, don't take on projects. Our next one, number four. This is something that we are passionate about. Oh, yes. Don't send... Okay, we're in a dating game. Okay. We're sending unsolicited nudies is like a thing. It's right. like acceptable. It's expected. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, us being women who dated, you just get unsolicited dick pics. And, yeah. and vice versa. Women, if you sending pictures of your goodies... Goodies. Okay, listen to Sierra's song because she made a song just talking about goodies and how you need to keep because they stay in the job. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, look for the goodies in the jar. Stop sending these men pictures of your boobies and your booty um, and your cootie. Like, it's not. Bars, okay. Um, it's not cute. It's not sexy. And guys, 
we do not want your dick pic. We don't want the um, pain. I can't tell you how many conversations have been like, hey, good morning. Good morning. How's your day, dick? And it's like, and it's like <laughs> it was better. Believe Without it or not. The um, <laughs> if you want to see pictures of peen and vagine, you can go online. Like, Google got like, like. boo cool. Yeah. Boo cool pictures that you can go through. Stop sending your penis pictures. And I think that just goes with, again, just the image of it. You have to be so quick because there's so many options, so quick to show yes. a person everything. It's that like you're going to the with. flea market and yeah. trying to pick like the highest quality of something in like five seconds. Yeah, and so you're so snatch it up. quick to show somebody everything that you have, everything that you're working with, instead of taking time and allowing a person to get to know you and to you know right. build those intimate connections. It is it's not a race of you know, hey, how you doing? This is me. Here's my peen. Do you want <laughs> Here's me? my peen. Do you yeah. want it? Can I come over and hang out? What you doing tonight at midnight? Because I'm just trying to come over and watch a movie. <laughs> Ain't that how it be? Right. What you doing tonight after you get the peen? And it's like, I tell you what I'm not yeah. doing. I have a quicker answer for that. Yeah. Stop with the... And I don't even know where that came from. I don't get how I people can feel... I think I just where it came from. You just feel like oh, you right. have to rush to I'm show everybody... That they see. Oh, yeah. You show everybody that. what you're working with. You know, it's not a competition. And, you know... People assume that you've been with however many people, so it's like, well, let me go ahead and see, you know, what it is. Let me play the field if it's if it's what they're looking for, or whatever. But take your time and get to know a person, Baby, um, you know. And if you banging on the first day, that's your business. But don't be surprised if it goes left, if it turns into a situation right. shit, because you or haven't built shit. a foundation. And right. we've all, you know, we've all, we've had our moments. <laughs> Hey, you know, you know who we talking to. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you know, you we've all, all done that, but we've also all been in a position where it's like, damn, I'm with this nigga and he ain't with me. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me faint right here in front of this camera. Don't or make me vice do versa, it. you know. I don't yeah, what we doing? So I don't know, right? So, yeah. um, just don't even don't. That shouldn't even be a thing at the top of the list. If we got to talk about sex and stuff in the first five minutes that I start talking to you, because unless you, that's what this is, unless, unless yeah, unless that's what this booty this, call central, booty call central. Unless the phone lines are just about the booty calls, but if this just your regular degular, you just trying to talk to a dude, feel him out, vice versa. Dudes don't send unsolicited pics. Women don't send unsolicited pics. And when do we get to the point? In our life Where's and in like, our world, that <laughs> that you feel so comfortable to send something so private. And but nothing's private anymore. Because but it's you. your private. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> like who private. get who? When do we get so comfortable that you feel comfortable with showing people your private parts, especially growing up? Jimmy, put that thing away. Like you, we were told and brought up as kids to not let anyone see that. Don't let anyone touch that unless you give consent. You know. So now we're the generation. Where is like want to see my dick? You ain't got to an answer. I'll send it to you anyways. And it's what do you, what you know that person gonna do with that picture? Right. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to. But if you don't get put your profit, face in it, don't nobody know it's you. That's dumb. <laughs> Um, yeah, so don't, we, we just had to go on a little rant about that because it's something that 20 year olds do. And it's just like, we're just the generation. It's just about. And I think, I, I don't think we're the only generation. I think, who, Jennifer, who, who, who? I don't think we're the only generation. That oh, the generation after that us too. And before us. But I think now that we have social media, it takes it to another level. Cause who's sending a dick pic in a letter? Nobody. <laughs> now we have instant access Unless to each other. Unless you're in jail. It, it, okay, I'm just, I'm right. just saying. But man. now that we have instant access to each other, I don't have to wait five or seven right. days for you to get <laughs> Right, to right. Um, and we don't have to wait to have a conversation. People, we just jump into it. Mm. Like, let's just start talking. Oh, hey, how you doing? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so. That leads you us like into our, Do you like ro I told you <laughs> acting up in front of these people. Uh, that was an inside joke. <laughs> that was a funny one too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I just have like this whole picture replaying back in my mind. Um, so I, that leads us to our last and final tip, which is probably our favorite. Be genuine and transparent. Right. That, that's all a girl can do these days. That's all a guy can do these days too. Just be who you are and if people accept that, they accept it, and if they don't, they don't. Be real with yourself. 
First, know what you and want. Foremost, be real with yourself. And like, if you need to work on yourself, now's the time to do work it. Work on yourself by yourself. Don't get with somebody. Thank you. And, and then, expect them to heal you. Right. And expect them to fix you. Or that's to not be what the this is. Peace. Yeah. Know. Like to complete you. No, 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 no. Like we're talking about good, healthy relationships where you complement each other. You have your strengths and weaknesses, mm -hmm. your negatives and positives, and you balance each other out. And so to do that, in order for you to provide enough quality to a relationship you have to be a quality ass person put that on the shirt quality ass person Bing! um that's what you have to be right. so work on yourself so that you can be genuine so that when you talk to people you are putting your best foot forward first impressions matter and if you you know if you do all the other tips that we said don't do and just be yourself and be honest with like what you want and what you're looking for mm -hmm. Boom. Like, what comes to you is going to come to you because that's what you're putting out to the universe. And, you know, we universe people. Oh, we universe We believe in the universe and the power of the universe. Okay. Oh, oh. Of the universe. Um, but be honest with, like you said, be honest with yourself. If you're a person and you like being outside, you like being outdoors, you know that's the type of person that you kind of want to be with. Again, you know, that goes yes. back to don't get with a person because they fine and then you want to go outside and they be like, mm -mm, I don't want to go outside. outside. You knew I didn't like outside with Chloe's all right, you? Right. Since um, when I like outside? <laughs> So you want to be open and transparent and you want to communicate. Um, every every relationship, no matter what it looks like, can own, you know, it needs communication to survive. Yes. So yes. from the jump, be open, be honest, mm -hmm. let people know how you feel. I think, you know, I don't think you should shield your feelings. I don't think you should hide your feelings to be considerate of other people's feelings because then you're not being true to yourself. I think we put it all out. If your feelings get hurt, let's talk about it. Right. If my feelings are hurt, let's talk about it. Um, but when you have feelings or you just kind of go along to get along, nobody or you play these me. games. Yeah. You play these games because you because you're scared. I I don't even know. Um, I know we. I mean, we've played games. Right. Not saying that we're perfect. Oh, yeah. We play games, but it gets to a point to where you want to stop playing games right. because. <clears throat> and we have to kind of be the reputation changers. I think it is an assumption <laughs> and, and probably a good assumption of who we are as 20 something year olds as the millennial generation. Generation Z, I think, is also. Oh, don't get me the line. <clears throat> and I don't know what people be naming the generations and stuff. But, you know, we already have this label on us of who we are as people based on our age, our look, our demographics, you know, where we come from and stuff. So be the change. Change. You want different, you gotta do different. And so we just we just want to come out, come in out. to the peoples and give a little word on this Thursday. 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 Um after work. Hello. Yeah. Dedicate yeah. de hello. Dedication. Dedication. We're trying to be consistent. Trying to be consistent. Um because I'm flying tomorrow, leaving. You are leaving tomorrow to go. To St. Louis. Wow. Look at you. <laughs> Bro, if you haven't seen <clears throat> our episode, Broke Ass Travelers. We lived it life. We, literally. Literally. I be, you better go to these trips and split a meal. Okay? That's, uh, that's all. Going, I'll be in St. Louis this weekend. Next weekend, we got a lot of stuff to do. The weekend after that, we're, we're going to San Antonio. Antonio. <laughs> then we have a week break, and then the weekend after that. We're going to New Orleans. Yeah. We trying to travel. Y'all thought we was lying? We traveling out 2018. Oh, 2018, we in the travels. So if you could be so kind be to fun. like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your peeps, pass this video along because we know. And you know, all the 20 somethings, watch the video. Watch it. This is for y'all. I mean, us. us. <laughs> right. This is for us. Even though you're um, married. So. Even though I'm married, but I don't be counting me out. I still have stuff to say about dating. We, I had the date before we got married. Did you, you thought that was easy? Was it not? Yeah, you didn't even want... Anyways, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll catch y'all later in our next video. Bye. Bye.